I did it. Alright, so now we can have y'all ready up. It's survival of the fittest on a global scale. Who among the challengers will make it to the top? Ooh. Oh, with Puerto after all. I guess he gave it into the peer pressure. Yeah, Puerto versus Han. This is, this is, this is gonna be funny, I think, in, a, in his own way. Cause you got a guy who's basically stationary, but can burst out in a horizontal way, or vertical, and a guy who's running around all the time. So, both of these players are gonna have to be very, uh, very aware of their, their characters. Something, yeah, I'm glad that no need to show that really early because something that uh, on the has in this game that's not really prevalent in Street Fighter 5 you have to remember is being able to drift with uh, neutral jump fierce mm -hmm. uh, he's going to be able to position himself very nicely with that even hasn't been successful with it just yet but with other tools he's been able to get a lead in the start but Shadow Ace is bringing it back gets confirmed and also gets uh chest what is that it's not so stop but... I'll think about it later the guac bomb so, uh, yeah. so far, Ace has uh, been in control, and he hasn't really, when well, I say that, but now he's getting hands into the corner. And, oh, yo, the U2, the Giga. But it was really scary for Ace as he tried to jump out, and he got hit with a jab reset in the hands, but he was able to find some time to skirt off of the wall and get a punish on a miss uh, fan throw. Yeah, it's like I was actually curious if Ochi would ever cover in time, but yeah, I think he got the straight fun. There we go, we got the flashes. Yeah, I guess Ace was looking for a butt slam. Yeah, that's a really hard to read with the timing he did it. But still able to keep control, gets under the fear, just a reset. And gets another stun. And gets a stun. Super that you never ever get to see. Nah, man. <laughs> But normally Forte is using too much media, trying to make sure he can just run in somebody's house. I like, speaking of which, you know, he's not using the lead defining tool for Fuerte, which is the EX Quack. This is the EX Guacamole. Yeah. Yeah, and uh... Oh, that's a, that's a case of the uh, Is it? Man, it's, it's been too long. I think it is case. It's one of the three. Man. I'm glad somebody knows. What'd he say? It is. It's quesadilla. Yes. So man, it's just too much food. But, I mean, that, that is said trope of Fuerte. Uh, yeah. A gone and forgotten character. <laughs> you trying to spit it out, what's up? Hmm? Uh, I was gonna say, I was like, yeah, that, that, like towards the end of the game, that, that, that tool itself gave him so much power. And then you started seeing him uh, actually in the top eight. You know what other tool gave him some power that we didn't see? What's that? Unstop Fierce. Oh man, that's, that, that's years old, man. <laughs> One day Shadow is gonna surprise us and bring it out, though. We're gonna talk about surprises. No need to talk over here with a guy. I feel like this is five characters, right? Or one of his characters? Uh, Your destiny possible. Be it, might, might, it might be one of those uh, charged character purists from Street Fighter Team. Alright, so this is, gonna be, this is uh, another one. It's, it's gonna be similar in the vein of Honda, but different in other ways. This is it. Where you can maintain his base with a good focus attack is a great way to start things out. It actually got a link from the Sonic Boom, but didn't have a confirm for that, so Ace is gonna take that and literally run a mile with it. Not enough to get the lead, but they're getting pretty competitive at this point. Alright, well, he managed to snipe the snipe on this week off the run. Yeah, he's just using that movement to uh, keep him confused, but. <laughs> maybe he maybe needs to calm down just a little bit. I'm really unfortunate. I'm pretty sure No Need was looking for a jab to burn into Flash Kick, but didn't link the last chain. Mm. Still, it's okay. Because you're still able to pick up a confirm into the good old Stan Fierce. Man, that's still one of my favorite combos. One of my favorite links. Gal jab in the fuse. <laughs> nah, 
Uh, that's one of the big things that you get from just playing Gao in this match. You don't really have to worry about crossing too much as long as you have the timing. Put an invisible flash kick on it. He's a little overwhelmed with the pressure right now. Go with another overhead, can't get the link from it. Put the back run into a tortilla. Just one more work, but that's not gonna be it. Ah, he uses the armor from the egg run. <laughs> oh man. It's all coming back to you. It's like a flash in the pan. <laughs> yeah. I got to throw off uh, the Don't Need to Talk, but Don't Need to Talk is not really clicked a lot, you know? I was going to say, like, he doesn't really flinch until, like, he's just, like, like Jack is going to play. Hey. That's all she wrote. He's also using it to um, find the space as well, of, like trying to see if he can find a really good position to, before he can start attacking, no need to talk. Especially since while he was going off the wall, he was closing in, right? Because as long as he's going off the wall, he's going to land at the least mid-screen. No need to talk is constantly backing up. So he's uh, walking himself in the corners. <laughs> 